Hi, I'm attorney Renee Ozipov with Shelley Law, and we assist educators here in the state of Arizona who may be under investigation with their school governing board or with the state board of education. Um, and I'm talking about educators anywhere from grades K through 12 who are in either the um, public school, charter school, or private school setting. Uh, but today I'm addressing what is unprofessional or immoral conduct. So this this term of phrase gets used often um, with school districts whenever they're, um, you know, deciding to discipline a teacher or not. And then also with the State Board of Education. Uh, so what is unprofessional or immoral conduct? So the Arizona regulation R7-2-1308 uh, defines what is unprofessional or immoral conduct. There's basically 15 things listed. Um, they're kind of a catch-all. The last item on there, number 15, just says any sort of conduct um, that would harm the teaching profession as a whole would be considered unprofessional conduct. Um, I can go through each one of those, but to just kind of categorize them, um, we could start with misappropriation of funds. So if you are using um, money given by the you know state or federal government and you're not using them the way they should be, um, or you're taking them for your own gain, that's definitely unprofessional or immoral conduct. Um, then you can kind of go into any type of alleged um, abuse against a student. Um, you know, that could mean um, verbal, emotional, physical, or sexual abuse. Any of those that would fall in that category would definitely be considered unprofessional or immoral conduct. Uh, one that's quite popular that I see from clients nowadays um, it was when a teacher breaks their contract mid-year. Um, they ask to be released. The school district says no, they're required to stay, but they break their contract. Um, it can be considered immoral or unprofessional conduct. Also, substance abuse issues, um, even outside of the classroom, if there's any way that it would affect students' well-being, um, safety, um, or health, then it would be considered um, unprofessional or immoral conduct. Then also, um, if you are impaired while at the school under, you know, the influence of alcohol or uh, drugs, um, something like that, that would also be in the list as well. Uh, one thing that you may not think about is if you misrepresent or lie on any type of um, documents records, applications, that also would be considered. Um, unprofessional conduct mainly is focused on students. However, um, you there could be a finding of unprofessional conduct um, with staff, parents, um, fellow teachers. So you just want to keep that in mind. Again, the catch-all is kind of anything that um, would endanger or discredit the teaching profession. That's kind of how the uh, regulation is stated. So a school district can uh, investigate if they have reasonable um, suspicion that, you know, unprofessional conduct has occurred. Um, they are mandated reporters, so it's likely that they would report any of that to either um, the legal authorities, uh, Child Protective Services, or also the State Board of Education, who would then conduct their own investigation. So if you have any more questions about unprofessional conduct or immoral conduct, uh, you can check out our website at Shelley Law, C-H-E-L-L-E law.com. Our contact information is also in the description below, um, and you can give us a call. We'll set up a consultation, and we're happy to help. Thanks.